What's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars is finally global, guys. And as promised on my community tab, I put up a poll. The majority of you guys wanted to see extra bonus content for Brawl Stars on a weekly basis. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here on the channel. So expect one or two videos at first and maybe even more as double uploads as time goes on. Now, I plan on uh, sharing a bunch of strategy content with you guys here on the channel mainly how to make you guys better players in brawl stars and of course we have some fun while doing it which is what we try to do with every video that we put out here on the channel now in addition to that i will be in the future implementing the same pro tips format that i use in clash royale for the last two or three years here in brawl stars so mainly you should expect to see the top players on in the game coming on voice and giving us their pro tips for brawlers and for maps and for strategy events and game modes but today we're going to talk about five beginner mistakes that you guys should look to avoid do not make the same mistakes that i did but before we get to the top five i want to start out with a bonus tip there's a lot of guys who have been grinding and playing and uploading content for brawl stars every single day during the long beta period so i want to give a shout to some of those those guys and as a bonus tip you guys should check them out all the links to their channels will be in the description below because they put in a ton of time and all the tips that I've learned from the game have really been from them so I want to give them some love to start things out and they are Re Brawl Stars Ray, uh, Chicken, Kairos Time, Lex, Coach Corey, and Ark. Again, all their channel links will be in the description below. So big shout out to those guys. So mistake number one is mismanaging your gold in Brawl Stars. And this is a big one. In the early game in Brawl Stars, it feels like gold is at a surplus. You have a lot of it at your disposal and it's going to feel like it's stacking up and heck, you should be using it. But a word of advice, a word of caution for you guys. In the mid game, in the end game, gold can be incredibly scarce. It's a scarce resource, so you wanna protect it and take advantage of that early gold. Now, what should you be doing with your gold and what shouldn't you be doing? Number one is don't be using it in the shop. You really don't wanna be spending gold in the shop in the early game in Brawl Stars, even if you're a big spender, in my opinion. Instead, you should be focusing on just leveling up your brawlers. Level them up first and don't be spending your gold inside the shop. Now, even when you get them to level 9 and you can start unlocking and spending gold on star powers, just be cautious because when you get your first brawler to level 9, I think the tendency is to go out there and spend gold on star powers. But remember, you have a static 1% chance of uh, taking a star power out of a brawl box throughout the game and that's a one percent chance that can apply to that brawler so you could actually use the gold and then realize hey I only have one brawler that I have the star power for anyway, and I'm going to mitigate that chance, that 1% chance in every box to be pulling that star power. So I would advise you guys to save your gold and just spend it on leveling up your brawlers. Mistake number two is mismanaging your gems. We talked about gold, now let's talk about gems. This game is not very paid to winny, which is a really great thing. One of the things that I love about the game. However, there is a lot of viable gem strategies and a lot of bad ways to spend your gems. Now, I gotta rephrase, there's really no bad ways to spend your gems, but unless you're just a baller, you're a whale, and you don't care, you'll spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the game, I would recommend you guys go ahead and not just buy the regular gem offers in the game. Rather, you're gonna get way more bang for your buck, way more value out of simply purchasing the token token doubler. The token doubler is going to present the best value and you'll have to play the game in order to see the value out of that, which is a good thing. You don't want to be that guy or gal who just maxes out your account, but you're still a huge noob. That playtime and experience will be incredibly value to your, valuable to your guys and you'll still see way more value because of that token doubler. So token doubler is going to be the way to go in terms of where and how to spend your gems early on now if we had to talk about the 
fastest way and the most affordable way to max out your account. The cheapest way to max out your account in Brawl Stars is no doubt about it, basically just Robo Rumble, right? Not really boss fight, AKA hunting party, I think they call it now. It's a great return on tickets in Robo, Robo Rumble, excuse me. So the cheapest way to max your account is to only use your tickets, even buying tickets there, and only playing Robo Rumble on the weekends. Definitely the way to go in terms of the biggest value proposition inside the game for your gems. So buy tickets and use them on Robo Rumble. Now number three could have easily been number one. Maybe it should have been because right now, 90% of the players, if not more in the game, are brand new. And if you create a new account right now, those of you who have been playing for a while, you'll see a lot of people not understanding the roles of the different brawlers. Not every brawler is created equal in every different game mode or event, and every different role they're taking on within those game modes or events. So not every brawler is gonna be running for the gems in gem grab and being a carrier or being a ball carrier in brawl ball. You really have to recognize the roles of all these brawlers, and the best way to do so on top of checking out these YouTube channels, such as Kairos tier list guide or Corey does brawl star rankings as well and we'll be doing some of that as well in the future and giving specific brawler guides and even further maybe an archetype guide to the different archetypes but let's just go ahead and run through a few of them for you guys right now and support the healing brawlers we have brawlers like pam and poco in control you see some of the throwers like barley and mike and then spike to a degree as well we see hybrid brawlers like Nita, who has that bear, Jesse, who has the turret, and even Penny. We see tanks like Bull and Primo and Frank. And of course, DPS like Rico or Brock or Piper. Those are ranged units. So obviously, just as Intuition might go ahead and tell you guys, the ranged high DPS brawlers are usually going to be a little bit more squishy. You don't want to have that tanky carrier type role in a lot of these game modes. And of course, we could go more in depth with which brawler supers can break walls, for example. But we'll save all that stuff for another video. But highly recommended that you try to go ahead and play each of the brawlers and you recognize what roles that they're best suited for and you don't try to take on a role that is not well suited to your brawler. It will lead in defeat. I can promise you that. Number four is conserve ammo. More specifically, don't spam ammo. And that was a, oh, it probably still is, an awful habit that I have in the game. It's easier said than done. When you identify another brawler on the map from the opposing team, you have the tendency to unload. Like, okay, I got them in my sights and I want to, I want to get them. I want to kill them before they kill me. However, you have to be very careful, guys. You really need to make sure you pick and choose your shots wisely. Now, auto-aim should really only be used for the close-range, tanky-type brawlers. You don't want to get in the habit of using auto-aim for mid-range or long-range brawlers. Even though you might see some moderate success with it early on, once again, once you get to that mid-game and the end-game in Brawl Stars, it is not going to be a good habit to develop early on. So do not use your auto aim for mid and long range brawlers now more importantly there's two combat situations well there's two types of situations when you would fire in the game a direct combat and an indirect or non-combat situation direct combat is pretty self-explanatory you're going one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two or two-on-two -two, it doesn't matter you're engaging in a firefight right there or a melee fight right there with your opponent and you just want to choose your best shots use the map to your advantage and make sure again you understand your brawler's strengths and then there's the non-combat situation it means when you're running around and you don't see any enemy you're not engaging in a firefight at that moment you want to make sure that you're using your ammo very very selectively to shoot at obvious places that your opponent might be try to clear out an area or complete object objectives so it's not like you should shouldn't be firing in those situations, but be careful not to spam. Do not get caught without ammo because remember guys, you will not heal up or recoup ammo unless you are not engaging or firing at an opponent. So using your ammo is really a, a, a 
good idea only when you have your opponent in your crosshairs. So really important to manage your ammo correctly and also to note that every brawler has different reload times. So understand and get to learn your favorite brawler's reload time and use that efficiently and effectively inside the match, inside the combat. And last but not least, do not play with randoms. <laughs> do not queue up with random matchmaking. Go find a good band or a club they're now called. They keep changing the terminology. I can't keep up. Go find a good club inside the game and then team up. That way you can select, you know, first the brawlers that you're good at, the roles that you naturally enjoy playing and have success with. And then you can kind of coordinate with your uh, bandmates. What are they called now? Club mates instead, right? And you guys can go ahead and find the emotion, most efficient combo for your group and you can also experiment with different roles hey you know I thought I love this brawler maybe I'll try this one instead and you guys can kind of communicate better and find the perfect combo of course if you want to take that to the next level you can also hop on a voice call we have a discord server at Nova there's also discord service for many of the biggest bands in the game and of course there's a discord server for brawl stars in general so guys, those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. Just kind of throwing it out there. By the way, my favorite uh, game mode is Gem Grab. My favorite brawler, for a long time, it was Spike. But I love Terra. Might not be the strongest, but something about Terra's uh, the, the super ability really appeals to me. I just think it's so cool. So those are my favorite brawlers. What about you guys? What is your favorite game mode, your favorite uh, event, and your favorite brawler in the game? Let me know in the comments below, guys, and a reminder to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this type of Brawl Stars content. And if you want to see more content in the future, feel free to leave your ideas in the comments below. I always read the comments here on the channel if you're new to the channel and you didn't already know that. So a huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.